Hello guys, this is Victor Bell, the General, founder of Warhorse Strength Camp and the Champion Development Academy, creator of the Champion Army where I help male entrepreneurs become champions in their business, their bank accounts, their bodies, and their lives, giving them the edge so they make more money, so they actually have more wins, so they become champions in the areas that are super important to them. You know, quick message, I'm actually in California at uh, an event and I'm sitting in a room with a bunch of guys and when I'm in my own room, I find ways to work out, I find ways to train. I've been doing this for like 20 years the same way, making sure that I personally have the things that are uh, make me successful and keep me at the front of the pack and I share that with my guys from years and years ago to now. And there's one thing that I noticed because when you go to a place or you're somewhere different, you don't always want to be the loudest guy in the room. When I go to different gyms and different um, wrestling places, Brazilian jiu-jitsu places, MMA places, business events, I'm usually pretty quiet. I'm usually the guy that sits in a corner and waits a little bit. If you ask me what I do, I kind of share a little bit, but typically I keep my mouth shut. And I learned this because I'm around so many top performers. I'm around so many great entrepreneurs, great athletes, great achievers, um, special forces guys, all these different people. And the thing is, is that you'll never know who they are in that crowd. You'll never hear them always talk about what they do, how they knock people out, how they've been to this place and watch this guy get killed or save these people or how much money they make or why they continue to be successful in some of these little things, even though they're in an environment where that is normal conversation to have. They'll listen. They'll find out who's who. They know who's real, who's not. So in those instances, you can say that it's not the guy that talks the loudest who's sometimes the most successful. It's sometimes the guy who seems the least successful in the group that is more successful than everybody else because rather than be respected in that group, he stays quiet. So a lot of times, especially as an athlete, those people are feared. They don't let their mouth start becoming the respect factor in that conversation. They show up and their performance becomes the, the respect factor. First, you fear them. Then you'll begin to respect what you tend to fear after you've seen it in 100% in um, action. That is how it's supposed to be done. Because sometimes your mouth will write checks that your ass can't cash. And that's normal. You watch an athlete jump in front of a camera and say, I'm going to do this. I'm going to knock this guy out just to get in there and get knocked out by the guy who didn't say shit in the press conference. Or some guy who pushes some guy to go turn around and make weight and he's being a bitch about it. That other guy's a little bit off in weight. Then he goes to cut that weight and commits to beat the shit out of this guy in the ring. Or it's that other guy that's in some seminar that's sitting in the back not saying anything. Not slinging out his business cards everywhere. He's just shaking hands and smiling. Asking how, it, how they are. How things are going. How can they help. And then all of a sudden later they Google that person or find out that this person owns half of this. Has been doing this for X amount of years. He's the top in his field. Yet somebody else treated him like he was a fucking nobody. And didn't even decide to... Want to pick this person's brain. They were too busy throwing up on them. Telling them about themselves. That can't be you. Champions don't do that. Champions take a step back. Understand their surroundings. Who they're around. And how they can implement what they know. Learn a little bit. So they can go back and shine better. Do the things that they do well. Because they understand now everybody in and around them. Everybody in their circle. And they know who the talkers are. And who the doers are. You can easily figure that out. So if you're some guy that is in business, that's an entrepreneur, that's an achiever, that's an athlete, and you're just in this place and you're trying to find every moment you can to fit your new voice in to seem like you can be respected in this group, yet you know for a fact that you're a fucking nobody, then take a step back, shut the fuck up, and start listening. Do your work and stop talking about the work that needs to be done. That's not the edge. That's not an achiever. That's not a champion. That's a competitor. And if you want to compete, you can't win. Champions don't compete. They dominate. So if you're not looking to get the edge, if you're not looking to dominate, if you're not looking to wage war, you're just looking to fucking have a conversation. No one wants to hear that shit. You need to take a stand for where you are, who you are, and what you do, and do what you do. And that's fucking it. If you need strategies, tactics, and all these other things on getting the edge back in your business so you can step up to the plate and be a champion for all the areas that you care about and must get ha and must happen, go to championdevelopmentacademy.com, watch the video, fill out the application, hit me up. If there's any way I can help you out, check me out. This is Coach Vic saying create, apply, inflict panic, pressure, and pain to stretch, grow, and get badass results. Peace. Wage war, brothers.